I am known by many names. To some I am a god, others a spirit. To the beings of the forest I am the great mystery. The inhabitants of the forest, fox, raven, and frog, called upon me one night to ask me to give them light to see by. Great mystery! Yes, I said. Great mystery! We have a request of you! We need light! The day creatures have the sun, but we have only the moon. Ribbit. And the moon is inconstant. Sometimes it isn't even there. I will give you light, I said. Go to the river and collect the glowing pebbles you see within it. Place them in the sky and they will give you light. They then went to the river to gather their pebbles. While there, they decided not to tell Coyote, something that would have terrible consequences. What will you do with your pebbles? I hadn't thought about it. I'm going to make a portrait of myself. Isn't that a little self-centered? No, not at all. And what about the day creatures? Shouldn't we tell them about this, too? We've only told the night creatures about this. This is just for us alone. Now, Raven was an old friend of Coyote's, so of course Coyote was told anyway. Coyote was a vain thing, and of course wanted to have the very best portrait of all. I've heard talk about portraits all night. What's going on? Some of us have talked to the great mystery. It's promised us light. All we have to do is put pebbles in the sky. Then we will never be in darkness again. You could say you'll be in darkness never more. But... Never mind. How are you going to stick pebbles in the air? The great mystery will do it, I suppose. Anyway, lots of us are using the pebbles to make portraits in the air. Well, how could they start without me? As the best, my part should be front and center. The Mona Lisa! The Mona what? You know, some people see me as the trickster god. You keep saying these things. I guess that makes no sense. Never mind that, dear Raven. Tell me, do the others have a head start? Yes. I will have to make up for lost time. Coyote was determined to have the best portrait, and so collected as many pebbles as possible. They filled their pockets, and soon were filling their shirt too. Laid in with pebbles, they tried to climb the highest hill to place them in the sky. This was a mistake. anyone realize I haven't even started yet? There's no open sky left! Maybe I'll find some over here. Coyote tripped, and the pebbles spilled out into the sky. The portraits were all destroyed. From far away, the others could only watch as the night sky filled with light, and their artwork was lost forever. Coyote! He ruined everything! Great mystery. What is it? I said. Coyote ruined the portraits we made. Fix it! I'm sorry, I said, but I can't. The order of creation has already begun. I can't go back and undo that. The sky is stuck as it is. But what about our portraits? You asked for light, I said, not portraits. Coyote's work will give you light. You don't have to like that, but you do have to accept that. Ever since then, Coyote has spent their nights gazing up at the sky and howling at me to undo what they have done, but I cannot. If you go out at night, far beyond a city, and look up, 
you can see the pebbles Coyote placed in the sky. Today, you call them stars. Woo!